Hey guys, the volume has been levelized, so it shouldn't hurt your ears anymore. Enjoy LED monitor repair. So this is something I was asked to take a look at. It's an LED monitor made by Samsung. And it took me a moment to realize what the issue is. The backlighting in this quadrant is failing. You can see that it's brighter here than it is here. So I'm going to have to open it up and see if I can replace a component or reconnect the component that came loose. So I managed to get the case off. And I believe the issue is going to be one of these transistors here which power the LEDs. Now it is possible that the LED itself has failed, but hopefully that isn't the case because I really don't want to open this metal any farther. So we'll see. Well, it seems as though it actually isn't going to be a transistor. It's actually a bad contact. If I press on this, the brightness of the LED shifts. So it seems as though there's a contact issue with this plug. And to illustrate the issue. So you'll see the light level here fluctuate slightly. And that's as I apply pressure to the contacts here. So hopefully I can fix that. So here's the port that's giving me some problems. And it's torqued in such a manner that I think the connector's really not going to make a suitable connection. So underneath this white panel here is the LCD matrix, so I really want to be careful with that. Now what I removed is the backlight. Okay, so here's an image of the LED backlight. It was just easier to use an image than trying to film video. So each of these are LEDs. There are 64 of them in total. And then here's the connector, which I was showing you from the opposite side, and it has become disconnected from the PCB. So I'm going to have to solder that back into place. So here's the socket, and I'm going to attempt to solder it. It's very similar to a QFN, so it's going to be quite difficult. I am back here. Yeah. I am sent here. I live inside you. Without me, you die. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. I've connected the LEDs into the power board here. I don't have anything hooked into the LCD matrix, but I think I'll be okay without that. And then I have the control hooked onto the control mechanism here. And this is the first time I've done this, so it's not like I know the outcome.
Yes! Thank you! And there you go. A perfectly backlit machine right here. And I wiggle the solder joint and nothing happens. Yes! Alright. And to prove that the monitor is working 100%, here is the monitor next to my primary, and let's just drag this over, maximize that, and you can see that there is no longer a dim issue in the corner, or any corner for that matter. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this repair, I'd be more than happy to answer them.